world? Encroachment from a delusion. Yeah, that's definitely what it is. Could you at least pretend to be concerned about this? What kind of delusion is it this time? Welcome to Maid Cafe Mediators. Would you care to come experience some Moe Moe adventures with us? Oh, hey, Moe. <laughs> Master Asahi, I can't believe it's you. Oh, you know this girl? This time, yeah. Moe here is one of the maids who works at Mediators, just over there. This maid, you're so cute. It's nice to meet you, ladies. My name is Moe Suzumori. We'd love to have you as our mistresses at the cafe tonight. Mistresses? I'm no one's mistress. No need to get so flustered. All female customers at the cafe are addressed as mistress. Nothing weird about it. What? Really? <laughs> this mistress is quite precious indeed. Trust me, she really isn't. No need for all the flattery with her. That's not true. I think Saki's precious. Very cute, too. Will you and the two mistresses be stopping in for a brief respite then, Master? Hmm, that's pretty tempting. I'm pretty beat right now, so I guess it couldn't hurt to grab a cup of tea before I... Ahem! <clears throat> Do you remember that we were in pursuit of a certain someone? Uh, oh, oh yeah. Sorry, Moe, but I'll have to come back another time. Very well, Master. I look forward to your next visit. Oh man, there she goes. Such a rare opportunity, too. Getting served by Moe is a real luxury. I see. So you'd pick cavorting with maids over eliminating delusions, then? Is that even a question? And Moe's more than a maid, she's a real star. Her photo's even on the sign. Ever since she got here, she's really left her mark, helping to weave the storied lore of Akiba maids every day. I don't think I like the lascivious look in your eye right now, Asahi. Asahi's a neat, but he's still got called Master Asahi, so I want to be called Master Pinkoon! Pinkoon? What do you think you're doing? You can't just appear out in the open like that. It's not fair! Well, I want to be called Master too! You stupid Pinkoon's kind of like a little boy, isn't he? And maids know what guys like. Their business is making guys' dreams come true, after all. That means this delusion means that to be maid-themed. That would make sense, especially given that there's nothing but maids here, as far as the eye can see. But still no delusionscape entrance. This is just the way Akiba used to be. I'm actually getting kind of pumped. Akihabara did go through a maid boom not too long ago. It was the golden age of maid cafes, to be sure. So whoever dreamed up this delusion must really love maids. I, I need to tell Moetan again today that that I'm back. Moetan, we'll be to together forever and ever and ever. Like him? I mean, this is Akiba. There have got to be 50,000 guys just like him. Well, that could be a problem then. But we'll worry about that later. Right now, we need to find Akari. Hey, Nana! What are you doing in a place like this? I'm out doing some shopping. What about you, Master Asahi? Oh, you know, just looking for someone. Another one of your surprisingly numerous female acquaintances, Asahi? I don't know if I'd call her an acquaintance, per se, but... Yeah, she's another maid from the same cafe as Moe. Name's Nana. It's wonderful to meet you. 
No, 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 no. At your service. Th that's quite the name. That outfit looks really cute on you, too. Oh, please. <laughs> You're going to make me blush. The girl has a point. Speaking of, you haven't seen a redhead wandering around here by any chance, have you? A redhead? Yeah, dressed in white and really tiny. Probably, I don't know, less than 150 centimeters tall? You don't mean... You know her? I feel like I've seen her, but I also kind of feel like maybe I haven't. I can't entirely remember, actually. Well, that's mysterious. No, I must not have seen her. Now, hold on just a minute. But please, let me apologize for my absent-mindedness. Why don't I treat you to some English tea? In fact, I'll escort you and the mistresses directly to the cafe. Doesn't that sound nice? I'll say, let's do it. Asahi? Or not. Oh no, what's wrong? I can't, Nana. Maybe another time when I'm not chasing someone down. Sorry. Shame. But please remember, Master. I'll always be waiting for you. Tell me, Asahi. Are you by any chance a maid otaku? Oh, no, no, not at all. I just drop by that cafe on a whim from time to time. They've got really good food, so... For someone who only drops by from time to time, those maids seemed awfully friendly with you. Aw, oh, man, you've even got Mippity doubting me now. Anyway, don't we have a girl to find? Shall we be off, mistress? Sh shut up! I haven't seen even a hint of her. It's starting to get pretty late, too. <sighs> well, that was fruitless. Any chance you can give me back all the energy I wasted looking for that girl? What if she's not even in Akihabara anymore? Hmm, I wonder. How about we call it for the day? I don't think fumbling around in the dark is going to do much for our luck. Hard to argue with that. But what should we do tomorrow? I vote we take a hard pass on the whole Chuni delusion scape. That hooded dude is 31 flavors of bad news. So, should we try to find the source of the main delusion instead? That seems like the most logical option. I can't imagine it would take us nearly as long to find the deluser this time. I really don't think it's gonna be that easy. Remember how I mentioned there are like 50,000 Meidotaku in Akiba? I know, I know. But it's possible this delusion is coming from another source. Yes, it still could be a maid otaku, but it might be a maid herself. Why would a maid create a delusion centered around other maids, though? An otaku just makes more sense. You said yourself that the peak of the Akihabara maid boom wasn't a terribly long time ago, right? So our deluser could be a maid with a story similar to mine. Someone who just wanted Akihabara to be filled with the spirit of maids all over again. I guess that does make sense. You're very persuasive, Mippity, you know that? <laughs> Assuming it is a maid, that brings with it a whole new set of problems. How so? I mean, there are still a ton of maids in Akihabara. There must be at least 20 cafes with 10 maids each. That's 200! Are we just supposed to go on some sort of maid cafe crawl? Crossing each girl off the list one by one? Of course! Got any better ideas? Oh, Asahi! This is the part where you go, as a matter of fact, I do. And tell us about your perfect plan, right? Huh? No, uh, as... as a matter of fact, I... don't. Well, maybe. Yeah, no. Maid Cafe Crawl it is! Legwork is what gets us results, after all. Let's do it, Saki! I believe in us! We have to protect reality from the spread of these delusions! I want some cute girl to call me Master Pinkoon! Why do I get the feeling that Teen Dude isn't exactly bound for greatness on this particular investigation? Okay, so let's meet up on the side streets tomorrow. Shall we say one o'clock? No problem here. One? Did you say one? At least make it two so I can get an extra hour of sleep. And here I thought I was doing you a favor. I mean, I'm gonna come right out and say it. I have no confidence that I'll be able to wake up in time. Well, you better get confident because that's when we're meeting. Why don't you let me make sure you're awake in time, Asahi?
Hello? Straight to your heart! Sorry? Let's hippity hop! Duh! Good morning, Asahi! This is Mippity Mop speaking! Ryu Mimose, age 14! Oh, yeah, I remember. This has been your morning, Mippity, just as promised! So, what you think, Asahi? Did I wake you up properly? Yep, I'm awake and full of energy! Thanks, Mippity! <laughs> Mission accomplished then! Thanks again. I'll get ready and head over right away. Okay, we'll be waiting. Remember, we'll be on the side streets right by the main delusion. I can't believe she had a special greeting just for me. I don't know why, but today feels like it's going to be a great day. Good morning, everyone. You made it on time, Asahi. You're awfully chipper, too. Well, you know, sometimes it's just nice to wake up with the sun, you know? The sun's technically already setting, but still, best not to look a gift horse in the mouth. Sadly, the entrance to the delusion scheme still hasn't shown itself. So, let's get started. We've got a broad search ahead of us, so we'll cover the most ground if we split up. Roger. Gonna give it 110% today. familiar we'll be together always Th this world exists just for me hey kid you got a minute w me D did you need something from me you like maids right kid S stop calling me kid M my name is Ken Necra okay sorry sorry so you like maids right Necra if it's a binary choice between liking and hating them, then yes, I, I like them. You got a favorite? M Moetan. Moetan is my treasure. We'll, we'll be together. O always together. Uh, oh, that's great, really. Really happy for you guys. Glad you found yourself a good maid to, um, be with. <laughs> That kid's got problems. Is he stalking Moe? Now I'm kind of worried about her. Morning, Moe. Oh, Master Asahi. Good morning to you as well. Rather unusual to see you up at this hour, but it's a pleasure to have you joining us today. Oh no, I'm really just passing through is all. Though as long as I'm here, I've got to ask, what do you think of this spot? This... spot? Well, you know, all the weird stuff here. What do you think of it, as a maid? Hmm, that's a hard question to answer. As a maid, huh? Wait, I didn't really mean for it to be that deep or anything. Just the first thought that pops into your head. As long as my masters and mistresses are happy, I'm happy serving them in whatever setting I'm given. Whoa, now that's the kind of answer you'd expect out of a signpost maid. I've only been on the signpost a few times, just when they need to fill space, that's all. Oh, so you just got lucky? Well, good fortune's kind of a skill all its own. Anyway, I'll see you around, Moe. Feel free to stop in whenever you'd like. From the bottom of my heart, I eagerly await your next visit, Master.
if it isn't Master Asahi. How strange to see you this early in the afternoon. Good morning, Nana. How's things? Is business booming today or what? It is. Thanks to all our wonderful masters and mistresses, Akihabara's maid cafes live eternal. And what do you mean by that exactly? W well, what I said mostly. I didn't mean it as anything profound. It just sounded like a fun thing to say. A fun thing to say, huh? Hey, Nana, do you like working as a maid? Oh, of course. I think of this job as my life's true calling. Interesting. Then do you ever find yourself wishing that maid culture would expand even further? Maid culture? Hmm. That's a little more complicated. Why's that? After the maid boom, lots of low-end cafes took advantage of the maid's popularity and kind of tainted things. They charged ridiculous prices for food and drink and offered somewhat extreme services to the masters and mistresses. Can't speak to the second thing, but I do remember my wallet taking a beating not too long ago. That's why I'm not so sure expanding maid culture would be the best thing for it, even though I do love my job. That makes sense. Well, thank you for the frank answer. You've given me a lot to chew over. Not a problem. But why do you ask? If I may ask. No particular reason, really. Good luck today, though. Knock em dead. I always do. And Master Asahi, feel free to come back anytime. You're always welcome here. So, how'd your info harvest go? Get anything worthwhile? Hey, no, other than a complete breakdown of Akihabara's gestalt, I've learned nothing of value today. I got to see a bunch of super cute maids, though! So, neither of you found any weeds, then? Nope, but the seeds have been planted. Somebody might have something different to tell us tomorrow. It shouldn't be hard to figure out who the outliers are, so we just have to meet up the same way tomorrow and... Oh, Master Asahi, you're still in the area? Hey, Amoy. By any chance, would you and those two mistresses like to stop in at the cafe? Um... Answer carefully. Uh, I can't. I'm really sorry, Moe. Oh, that's quite all right. Our door is always open, though, so we hope to see you soon, Master. You will, I swear it. Moe doesn't seem any different from yesterday either, huh? Really? But still, but still, I think there may have been one teensy-weensy difference with her today. That's because Asahi responded to her question differently. Mates like Moe are very much attuned to their masters. Plus, that was actually the second time I saw her today. So, what was it you were saying earlier, mistress? Cut it out with the whole mistress thing. That's part of the breakdown of Akihabara's gestalt, too. Anyway, as I was saying, same time and place tomorrow. And you need to be punctual, because if we're not right on time, our jobs get tougher. I can do that. How about you, Asahi? Could I get another Mippity wake-up call? Would that be okay? It'd wake me up for sure. Wake yourself up, Dingus. If you don't mind me calling you so early, I'm happy to do it. I'm ready to hippity-hop anytime. Yay! In that case, I'll see you all tomorrow, right on time. Nice work today, team. Let's keep it up. Now just you wait. Hold your horses. What now? Aren't we done already? It's way too early for bed, so I thought we should head to the Chuni Delusion and ascertain the situation there. What? Are you serious? I'm always serious. We can't just ignore our delusion scape now, can we? Plus, there's no guarantee the Hooded Man will still be there today. If he is, I'm turning tail and running. No buts about it. Yeah, yeah, but that's a big if. We won't know unless we check and see. Come on! A clothes shop! Maybe I should try to become a real fashionista. Overwrite the wrong file. 
What's going on? Hey, somebody's here. What even is this? Was that not a dream after all? Is that boy able to see the delusion? Sure seems that way. We should go ask. By which I mean, Asahi should go ask. Oh, why is it always me? Okay, fine, I'll do it. But I won't like it. Yo, you got a minute? Huh? Damn, you're that guy! Hey, wait! Stop! Oh no, he ran away! But why? What reason would he have to run from you? I don't know, but this is exactly why I didn't want to talk to him in the first place. Rejection hurts, you know. Does this mean we've got another person to chase after? He's a speedy one. He's way too far away for us to catch at this point. Real shame, though. Just because you're in meat doesn't mean your legs don't work, you lazy dingus! Damn it, Pinkoon, stop showing up just long enough to insult me. I do get the feeling that if we were to chase after him now, it would simply be a repeat of yesterday's pursuit. You wouldn't happen to know who he is, would you? Nope. Never seen him before. No past beef that I'm aware of or anything. Could he be the one responsible for the delusion, then? Somehow he doesn't quite... look the part, as odd as that is to say. There's a different air about him than the people of Akihabara. I don't think he has any connection to the delusion. He did look kind of... pretty. Like one of those fashionable boys from Shibuya or Shinjuku or something. We've been getting a lot of guys like that in Akiba lately. They troll the cafes trying to pick up the maids. Men like that try to pick up maids? Yeah, Moe had to deal with a guy like that a while back. He was real persistent, hitting on her day in and day out. But Moe's a pro, so she just kept smiling warmly while rejecting his advances day in and day out till he went away. She just... kept smiling? Every day? Saki, is something wrong? I see. That explains it then. Uh, what explains what exactly? The one who spawned the maid delusion is undoubtedly a maid, not an otaku. Ryu, you get it too, don't you? I think I do. Uh, hey, hi. Clueless dude here. Care to fill me in? For me, repeating the same Sunday over and over again put me on edge because there were never any changes. Normally, I'd go to school during the week and do other stuff on weekends. But now, suddenly life was a set routine. I just kept thinking, what if there were no event? Would that be better? And the whole thing was driving me crazy. Now imagine if her life had the same routine day in and day out, even before the loop began. Wait, are you saying... Welcome back, Master, Mistress. Maids say the same things every day of their lives. Their routine is set. Monday or Sunday, workday or holiday, it's all the same to them. So repeating the same day over and over again isn't much different than their daily lives. It wouldn't be so bad. Now that you mention it, Moe hasn't missed a single day of work since she first accepted the job. Then the maid delusion could very well be hers. Come on, we need to find her. of what's happening around her. If I know Moe, she's not thinking of herself at all. She's entirely concerned with ensuring her customers are happy. Wait a sec. Both of you, look over there. Oh, whoa, it's Blondie. Huh? Why are you guys here? Crap, he got away again. What is his deal? His timing and location choices are a little too close for comfort. Oh, Master Asahi! Something terrible has happened! What is it? It's Moe. She's been kidnapped by a strange man! Kidnapped? Could someone else have realized that she was the deluser? Who kidnapped her? Did you get a look at his face? It happened right as she was leaving work, so I couldn't see him clearly. But you just said you knew it was a man. How? What did you see? Oh, well, he was wearing a pink cape. That much I could make out. And based on his stature, it had to have been a man. 
a pink cape? So you're telling me a man in a pink cape kidnapped a maid in the middle of Akiba in broad daylight? Yes, that's exactly what happened. I know it's hard to believe, but please, you have to believe me. I, I saw it ha happen too. M M Moe, my, my, my poor Moe. He, he just s swept in and, and d d took her away. He, he kidnapped her right off the street. We have multiple witnesses then. We have to hurry. They shouldn't have made it out of Akihabara yet. Yeah, let's find this pink caped creep and rescue her. time I'm wondering if you've seen a man wearing a pink cape in the general vicinity again with the pink cape Ugh, look I totally haven't seen anyone like that so stop bugging me again some weird girl asked me the same thing like a minute ago you seen a guy in a pink cape no I haven't who has but if you do tell me because I totally want to see him it takes some real style to pull off a pink cape in public so does this mean we're not the only ones looking for the man in pink? Can I go now, or should I tell you a few more times that I haven't seen your pink superhero? Oh, sorry. Yeah, by all means. Thank you for the information, at least. Hey, mind if I ask you a question? Huh? You got some business with me or something? I'm looking for a man in a pink cape. You seen him anywhere? Think I'd remember if I did. Did you say he was wearing a freaking pink cape? I know, crazy, right? How about a tiny maid being forcibly dragged off by some dude? Haven't seen or heard anything about that, have you? Man, you serious? Something go down? That pink caped guy a kidnapper? Yes and any information you could provide would be greatly appreciated. Well, I don't know nothing about no kidnapping, but I heard about an otaku robbing a maid cafe recently. Them creepy-ass otaku scare the hell out of me. Never know when they're gonna snap and do something. I see. Thank you. That all? Good luck, then. So a maid cafe was robbed by an otaku, too. Did you really have to stress the otaku thing so hard? He sounded so... so... disgusted. Words hurt, you know. Idol fans are often treated the same way. It makes me so sad when I see news reports saying bad stuff about them. People shouldn't go around pinning the blame on otaku like that. Especially when they didn't even witness the crime. Honestly, spending time in Akihabara has changed my perspective. Now I just see otaku as focused on what they love. See, that's a healthy way to look at it. We're a town of devotees here, just devoted to different passions. Save point! You better use it in case the power goes out! Whoa, this is heavy. How could someone actually pull off a kidnapping in a crowded place like this? I know, right? It's exploding on Quipper right now. Oh, hey, do you guys know anything about a man in a pink cape? <laughs> uh, Sorry to startle you. 
We're looking for a man in a pink cape and a small maid. You and everyone else who's heard the rumors. What rumors would those be? That a man in a pink cape kidnapped a maid. It's all over, Quipper. Bingo! Does it say anything about the kidnapper's whereabouts? Um, the eyewitness reports pretty much stopped dead at the Animart on Main Street. Main Street? Got it, thanks. What just happened? Excuse me, have you seen a man in a pink cape around here? Huh? Asahi, is that you? Um... It is. It is you. Man, it's been a long time. How are you doing? I, uh... Sorry, but do I know you? Oh, so you're not Asahi? I'm so sorry. You look exactly like him, so I just kind of assumed. No, my name's Asahi, but... Aha! I knew it was you. Oh, almost thought I'd accosted a total stranger. But that means you totally don't remember me, doesn't it? Um, yeah, sorry, I really don't. Maybe hearing your name would help jog my memory, though? Not gonna happen. Asahi, this is just too cruel. Until you remember me on your own, my lips are sealed. What? What is that supposed to prove? Forgetting a PYT like me. Honestly, Asahi, when did you become such a lusty playboy? Anyway, I'll just let the guilt eat away at you for a while. Bye bye Hey, wait! The heck was that? I have this vague recollection of her, I think, but... Oh, I just can't place her. <laughs> so your playboy nature isn't just limited to maids, is it? You're a menace to any pretty girl you see. And you don't even remember her name! Does that mean you'll forget me and Saki someday, too? What? No, I mean, there's... There's no way. It's not like that. I just legitimately don't know that girl. Honest. Come on, there are more important things to worry about right now, like finding the man in the pink cape. There's not a moment to lose, right? Let's go, people. Back to the investigation. Good point. Time is of the essence. Come on, Ryu. You and I will continue this ourselves. Okay by me. The two of us can rescue Moe on our own, no problem. Let's go. Huh? But wait! Don't leave me behind! Hey, a clothing store! Wonder if they have anything in my size! Um, excuse me, could I talk to you for a moment? Oh, certainly. What can I do for you? You wouldn't happen to have seen a man in a pink cape anywhere around here, would you? Oh, the man in pink. Yes, I have actually. He went around the corner over that way, probably headed to Main Street. What? Thank you very much!
Oh, what do I do? It would be pointless to try again. This is a real pickle. Um, excuse me, is something wrong? Oh, no, no. I've just grown a bit worried. I'm the manager of this figurine shop, you see, and it feels like my customer base has been, well, shrinking of late. Shrinking? Hmm. You don't think? Yeah. We could have a potential deluser situation on our hands. Let's pick us brain a bit. Sir, I was just wondering, is your shop in danger of closing as a result of your low customer base? Mm, not exactly. It's not an immediate concern, at least. But if things keep up like this, it could become one. If it's all right with you, could I ask for a few more details about your specific situation? <laughs> well, that, that's a rather odd thing to ask. It's fine, I suppose, but it'll just be me grumbling for 20 minutes or so. These days, everyone's buying things off the internet, so I've been trying to come up with some ways to up my numbers. One of the ways to do that, I realized, was to try targeted marketing towards female customers. That makes sense. In my experience, when women find something they like, they stick with it for a long time. Right. Characters popular for even the shortest of time still have lesions of female fans utterly devoted to them. So I, uh, figured I'd start steadily targeting women with my figurine orders. And the shipments began pouring in. But I'm not exactly a ladies' man. I guess you could say I've built it, but they haven't come. I need to find some ways to attract more female customers and make them feel comfortable in my store. Well, if that's all you're worried about, maybe I could try bringing in some female business for you. I'm pretty good at appealing to the feminine mind if I do say so myself. For real? You do that for me? That would totally save my heart. If you're serious about helping, well, I hate to ask, but would you pass these flyers out to girls around town? Specifically, girls who seem like they get anime, passionate and bubbly. They're the key to good sales. Got it. I'll come back after I spread the word. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the help. Uh, Saki? Is this really the time to be volunteering for a marketing job? It's fine. It might even be related to the delusions in some way. And it gives us a good excuse to talk to people. Saki? Pretty sure that girl's a bona fide otaku. All right, score! Let's give her one of the flyers. Excuse me, but you seem troubled. Is everything okay? Everything is not okay. I thought she was my friend, dog. She knew how much I love my sweet crimson plum. But then she went ahead and did it anyway. She just popped onto her sock puppet account and started clipping how much bigger a fan she is. Cold F. Am I right? Ugh. Just thinking about it makes me so, 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 so angry. Crimson Plum? Sock puppets? Asahi, explain. Crimson Plum is a popular anime hero, and sock puppets are secret secondary online accounts used for nefarious ends. Oh, okay then. I was the one who introduced her to him, me, and now this? What in the ever-loving fudge is her major malfunction? So, this Crimson Plum, what kind of character is he? Oh, he's just the cutest! The cutest, dog! He's the eldest son of seven kids, and... Uh, Saki, this seems like it could go on for a while. How about we give her the flyer and vamoose? Y yeah that sounds like a plan. Hey, I don't suppose Crimson Plum's on this flyer anywhere, is he? Huh? What flyer? Oh, yes! That's him right there! That's my husband -o. Wait, does this shop have the limited edition figurine of him in stock? Yo, that's like super mega ultra rare! Hmm, maybe it's overstock from canceled pre-orders. All I know is, if you want it, now's your chance. Whoa, for realsies? I need to get over there like yesterday! Never thought I'd be able to find my boy in figure form. Thanks for the Joho dog! This
this'll show the world who the real Crimson Plumber is. Oh. Well, that was certainly a thing. What I tell you, this is, as they say, my jam. Well, what do you think? Should we check the place out? Um, well, I do kind of want to, but like... Those two seem promising. Let's go talk to them. Excuse me, you two wouldn't happen to be into figurines, would you? Huh? Uh, well... See, we heard that this place just started selling figurines of the characters from our favorite anime. Right, but... Well, we've never been to a figurine shop before, and we're a little skeeved. These places are such boys' clubs, right? Oh, I know what you mean. But if that's all that's bothering you, never fear. Instead, here, take one of these flyers. What's this now? This shop is trying to expand to the female fan base. The owner wants it to be a no-pressure, fun kind of place. business? Oh, absolutely. We'll head on in right now. Yeah, I've got a pretty good feeling about this place. Thanks so much. We look forward to seeing you there. Nailed it! A twofer even! You've got the business smile down pat, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm kind of used to it at this point. Used to it? Take a good look at the figurines, then see if you change your tune. When they're done well, they're art. You don't understand, you, you won't even give them a chance. Yeah, yeah, but those characters with their skimpy outfits, the stores that sell them are totally just boys clubs. It's all just a bunch of pervy junk. Why would I want to take a good look at crap like that? Oh, would you listen to yourself? So close-minded. Let's go talk to those two, shall we? Time out, you two. Who the- First off, here, take one of these, both of you. Huh? What's this? Some kind of flyer? <gasps> it's got an Opal Plum figurine on it! This store is working hard to be a one-stop destination for all the kinds of figurines women enjoy. Oh, no kidding! I had no idea there was a place like this around here. See, I told you! Figurines for women are all the rage lately. You're all about Opal Plum, right? You want to go take a look together? Yeah, I guess so. If they've got Opal Plum figurines there, they can't be all that bad. All right! That's what I'm screaming. <laughs> um, thank you. This could be the start of something beautiful, and... It's all because of your flyer. Not at all, thank you. We look forward to seeing you at the store. Nice job. Yeah, and we bagged a guy customer while we were at it too. Whew. The 
last flyer has found a home. Nice work. A little too nice in a way. How come you're so good at this again? I didn't actually say, but it's because I do this kind of thing a lot at my part-time job. Huh? You have a job? Yep. I work at a sports bar on my days off from school. It's a pretty popular place. We have so many customers, I guess I'm just used to meeting demands and schmoozing. Hmm, interesting. Probably also doesn't hurt that the place's uniform is super cute, though. But never mind that. Considering your chosen profession, I imagine all this work talk isn't really doing it for you. In other words, take some time and find a job, dingus. Hey, you're a pretty neat-like little thing yourself. I don't see you working. Being adorable is my job, I'll have you know. I'll show you adorable, you little... That's enough of that now. Let's head back to the figurine shop and see if business is booming. With all these new customers, the manager ought to be happy as a clam. You're back. Yep, doing good business now, I hope. <laughs> if by good you mean great, then yeah. Thanks to you folks, this place is hopping. We've had a veritable cavalcade of female customers, and figurines are just flying off the shelves. I haven't seen this kind of business in such a long time. I'm so happy, I could cry. That's great. I'm really glad we could be of some help to you. Thank you both so much. I don't know how I could ever repay you. He's sure looking chipper. Mm-hmm. A job well done. And we didn't even have to contend with any weird delusions along the way. As always, Saki is the bestest. Oh, hey! Glad I caught you before you left. This is for you, as a token of my appreciation. Hmm? <laughs> what the heck? Saki, did he just see Pinkoon? That's a good question. Hmm. Must have up and left. Pity. This definitely raises some questions. Oh well, forgive a poor figurine man his imagination. I just thought I saw a cute little fairy in here. <laughs> Probably something I ate coming back to haunt me. Anyway, I wanted to give you a token of my thanks. This is for you. Wow, thank you very much. Come again anytime. Because of you, this place is gonna do just fine. Hey! Am I on figurine shop impossible? <laughs> oh, forget it. Hey, Saki, you don't think that guy could be a deluser, do you? Well, he did notice Pinkoon, so that's a pretty reasonable question. But, uh, I don't think there's anything to worry about. Based on his reaction, I'm sure he's good. Man, are you feeling okay? He was mighty shocked, wasn't he? Pinkoon, you can't just be popping out as you please. You know better. I know, but you could have just pretended I was Sakura Plum. Yeah, that's it. There is no Sakura Plum. Yeah? It's fine, though. Anyway, before we leave, I think I'll go buy a figurine to keep us company, if you get my drift. Ew, no, no, no. You're not one of those guys, are you? What? No, I'm talking about her. You know. Uh, no, I don't. She who glitters even among the stars above. Pure Venus, your favorite? Oh, that's okay. We don't need her.
me. Huh? Look, if you're trying to sell me a painting, I'm not interested. N no, I'm not an art lean, I swear. I just have a question for you. Have you seen a man wearing a pink cape anywhere around here? A pink cape? Oh, it has to be... You've seen him? It has to be some clever scheme to sell me your paintings. <laughs> well, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. <laughs> Saki, this guy's a dead end. Let's ask around somewhere else. Guess the trail's gone cold, huh? Even Main Street was a bust. Damn it! Where's that bastard hiding? You wouldn't imagine his outfit exactly lends itself to stealth. Let's start our search over from the beginning. No stones unturned this time. But haven't we already turned all of the stones we could? We hit every location there was to hit. You think I don't know that? But there were witnesses, so there's no reason we shouldn't be able to find them. It is quite the mystery. Honestly, I'm feeling pretty uneasy about it myself. Yeah, I mean, is the kidnapper some kind of pink-caped invisible man or something? This is ridiculous. Invisible man, huh? Yeah, what about it? So that's why we couldn't find him. And that would explain why all the eyewitness reports stopped at Main Street. What, Blitzaki? Invisibility. Regular people can't see him. Where have you heard that before? Oh, you're absolutely right! Look, I'm getting real tired of being left out of your revelations here. There's one place we didn't look. A place the kidnapper could have taken Moe where no one would be able to find her. Which ties into the one other thing we failed to consider. Why Moe was kidnapped in the first place. That's right! We suspect Moe is responsible for the maid delusion, remember? And if Moe's the deluser here, then her kidnapper may be someone who's aware of her delusion. Which means Moe's in the one place that she can enter that normal people can't. Some place they can't even see, in fact. So, assuming our kidnapper is a deluser himself, it would be a perfect place for him to hide. So if Moe really is the source of the maid delusion, then she'd have no problem entering the delusion scape. I guess that would make sense. The question is, which delusion scape? They could have even gone back to the idol or audio delusion scapes if they wanted. But the trail goes cold on Main Street near Animart, so it would have to be... The Chuni delusion scape. Of course! Come on, we've gotta hurry! What about your hang-ups with the hooded man, though? Can we really rescue her if we have to deal with him? The time is right. We've gained all the experience we need to defeat him. Come, let us save the fair maid! In... A clothes shop! Maybe I should try to become a real fashionista.
we gonna do? Right? The time is not right. Were you the one who kidnapped Moe? If ye wish to judge the events that hath transpired, ye must walk upon the narrow path. Follow ye the vanishing road, and ye may emerge at a return to nothingness. Answer the damn question! My name is Kiyoya Izanagi. I am guardian of the ancient scar, an observer of the clock's ticks. The woman in attendance is uninvited. Take her and depart this place. Uh, what? Poof! He's gone! Huh. Don't you usually have to fight the big story bosses before they bail? I have no idea what most of that meant, but it's clear as day that he wants us to take Moe and get out of here. I don't think he's the kidnapper. It doesn't seem like he has any connection with Moe at all. Hardly any interest, even! Either way, we've got the chance to rescue her, so I suggest we take it. Uh, yeah. Nothing makes any sense right now, but that seems like a good plan at least. <clears throat> Moy, are you okay? Huh? Where am I? And what are you doing here, Master Asahi? Phew. Glad to have you back with us. Do you remember anything? A little. I was handing out flyers in front of the cafe when a master in a pink cape came by and... Um... After that, I'm not... That man in the pink cape kidnapped you, Moe. Then he dumped you here in this delusionscape. Delusionscape? That's what this place is called. Ordinary people can't enter, or even see it, in fact. Oh, mistresses. They helped me find you. Thank you all ever so much for coming to my rescue. I feel terrible to have troubled you, though. It was no problem at all, really. The question is, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? Oh, I'm fine. You needn't worry. That's a relief. There's actually something we'd like to discuss with you. Oh? I'll cut to the chase. What day of the week was it for you yesterday? Huh? Um... Wow, okay. For me, both yesterday and today have been Sunday. There we have it then. I take it you've all been experiencing the same thing? Yeah, it's been Sunday for us for a long time. I don't even remember how many days it's been now. If you notice the time loop, I imagine you've also noticed the strange alterations in the area around your cafe. Well, yes. We've had significantly more masters and mistresses visiting than usual, too. You can attribute that to your delusion. It's the maid boom all over again, complete with a big boost in foot traffic. Your deepest desires have manifested in Akihabara, changing the very fabric of reality as we know it. This is all because of my desires? My delusion? Duh, stop, stop! If you throw every little thing at her at once, you're just going to overwhelm and baffle her. Okay, let's take this one step at a time. Mind if I ask you a question, Moe? If you knew today was repeating, how did you manage to stay so calm? I mean, you could tell at a glance that something was very different around your cafe, right? Yes, I could. It was quite obvious. But there was nowhere to run, and I certainly wasn't about to skip work. Why not? Being stuck in a time loop seems like a reasonable enough excuse. Because no matter what happens, I must create a welcoming environment for all my masters and mistresses to return to. That is my duty. Man, you really are a perfect maid, Moe. The real deal. 
all the way around. Uh-huh. Even as an idol, I could and should take a page or two out of your book. That's some real passion. But, but isn't passion the reason my dream became a delusion and caused all of these problems? It is true that your dream encroached upon reality, yes. But that's where we come in. We're going around trying to smash these delusions. So by, um, smashing them, you stop them from spilling out into real life? Correct. But doing so also nullifies the delusion's effects, making it as though none of it ever happened. Everything that happened from the time the delusion first appeared until it was destroyed is erased from people's minds. In a nutshell, everything in Akiba gets reset and life goes back to normal. What do I have to do to destroy it? Huh? You're fine with that? Even though you have so many more customers now? I don't mind. I can win them back with enough hard work anyway. Besides, the way things are, I'm causing trouble for a lot of good masters and mistresses. That's what really hurts. So please, let me help you end this. You sure you're ready for this, Moe? I can see why they put your picture on the sign. I'll be happy to work with you, Moe. Can't argue with that. Not that I would. Just having you around is going to make me work twice as hard. We might not have you on our team for long, but for as long as we do, glad to have you aboard, Moe. Thank you. I promise that I'll support you to the fullest I possibly can. I like her too. Welcome to the squad. Uh, it, it talked? So, I'm Pinku. I'm sorry if he startled you. Let's get moving and I'll explain him as best as I can while we walk. Everybody ready? Let's roll out. Our entrance should be visible now. Sounds good. Time to nullify that delusion. For Moe's sake. I smell trash. Find it, find it, find it.
gonna do? Enemy spotted, and I don't want to fight, so that's a problem. Door, don't forget to knock for. So they are able to get in here. What? Come on, people. There's no time to waste. We need to get to the Maid Delusionscape ASAP. Hey! You four! I need to talk to you! Huh? Look, sorry, we're kind of in a hurry right now. Can we do this later? Huh? No! 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 You guys need to wait up! Hmm? Wait, I know you! You're the kid who ran away from me before! I wasn't running! And anyway, I'm sure as hell not running now! There's something we need to discuss. As my partner here said before, we don't have the time to chat right now. What? But, but I just need a minute. And we're in a hurry. If you need to talk that badly, you'll have to come with us. Really sorry about this. We're not trying to snub you or anything, honest. Anyway, places to go. See ya. <sighs> oh, come on. Wait, damn it. I seriously need to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs>